Welcome to Bluegrass Home and Garden TV. Bluegrass Home and Garden TV is brought to you by Jimmy Nash Homes, Comfort Heating and Air, Springhouse Gardens, Back Construction, Ginger's Hearth Patio and Grill, Buyer's Paradise Furniture, and by the studio. Join us now for Bluegrass Home and Garden TV with Andrew I am here with Richard Weber over at Springhouse Gardens, where buying plants is a walk in the park. And yes. it really, truly is, especially this time of year. It's so pretty out here, but it's hot. It is hot. It's really, really hot. You know, June, July, August, those are the summer months. But plants like this are really exciting for the months of summer because if you don't really feel like watering so much, these are great plants. Okay. These are um, plants called sedums, and that's S E D U M. It's a huge family of succulent type plants that do very, very well in this climate. And they um, like, I mean, they, they can take the heat they take and the, the heat, dry. The dryness and the full sunshine. We were talking earlier, these are some of the most prevalent plants that are used for green roofs. Okay. So if you can plant a plant in two inches of soil up on a, you know, a, a skyscraper right. somewhere, sedums are one of the best plants for that. But they'll also grow on the ground uh, in central Kentucky amongst stepping stones uh, in uh, along stone walls, all sorts of different things. Okay. And the, the variety of foliage and flowers is incredible. Um, a lot of these will turn colors even in the wintertime. Huh. Uh, so some of these sedums are evergreen through even our coldest Kentucky winters. Wow. A lot of them will disappear, but then they come back in the spring. So Okay. So that, love, make, that makes them... Evergreen perennials. There you go. Yeah, or or just perennial perennials. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do I have here? This is one of my favorites. It's called a blue spruce sedum, and it does kind of look like it could yeah. be a, related to a blue spruce. But uh, one of the th the neat things about these is that they hold water in their leaves, much like a cactus does. So it's their succulents, which means they can just hold and absorb the water that they're getting. Uh, and hold it until the times when there's there's the no rain. The plants. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What are some of these other ones we have back here? Some of these other fun things are um, hens and chicks. Which what would you say? <laughs> these are hens and chicks. See, the one in the center is the hen, and she made the babies. So these are her Aww. chicks. Um, and these bloom throughout the summer. This one is actually one a fun one called cobweb. So yeah, because I was going to say it looks like cool? there's cobwebs on it. Yeah. So um, th these are just really, really fun plants. Well, now, not all one. sedums. Yeah, this is called a live forever, um, but well, this one like is one. Yeah, these are the tall growing sedums. A lot of people mm -hmm. know this. Um, there's one called Autumn Joy, which has been around forever. But I kind of like this one a little bit better. Autumn this is fire. Autumn Fire. It stays more compact. These bloom usually in July, August, and September. Okay. Uh, but look at those neat leaves and stems know. and even in the winter time these look really really cool. It has a cactus look to it the yeah, least. Yeah, yeah, very much so. So just all kinds of different ground cover type sedums. Um, this is one of our favorites called Angelina. Mm -hmm. uh, Brad Pitt really loves this one. <laughs> I bet he does. Um, and this one turns kind of red and orange in the winter time. This is one of our best of the evergreen sedums and then she's got this beautiful chartreuse uh, foliage the rest of the year. All right, so well, Angelina is quite fetching. Unfortunately, Richard, we are out of time. We can uh, just continue, <laughs> and, and people could keep just asking us questions. So, but if they yeah. have questions for you, they want to come out here, see you, get their hands on some of these plants. How can they do just it? Just drive out uh, Harrodsburg Road to Catnip Hill Road, which is 3375. That's our highway number, and we're down on the right. Um, actually, you turn right, and then we're down on the left. All right. So, find or us Springhouse. SpringhouseGardens.com, or find us on Facebook. All right.